What's up ladies and broke boys? So everybody knows what Yeezys are, and for the people that actually try to cop them, 99% of you have probably seen this screen. Honestly, this screen is so fucking demoralizing that it's stupid how taking an L can ruin your whole day. So in this video, I'm gonna try to make your L one less of a problem in your life, so you can stop sulking over the fact that you missed out. The 350s retail at $200, which is still pretty steep for the average person. But considering the resale profit margin, you don't really think about how much they're ticketed at because you really don't have anything to lose. And adding to that, everybody wants these, so there's a rare chance that you're going to be able to cop even if you do have a bot. So for those that don't want to take the L, or have already taken the L and have been emotionally demoralized, I got some alternatives that somewhat share the same aesthetic as the 350, so you can shake the salt. The Adidas Tubular Radial is a new silhouette that Adidas has introduced to their tubular lineup. It has a very similar shape to the 350, and there are many parts to it that obviously pull inspiration from the Yeezys. The tubular outsole has ridges just like the 350, and the toe box has that stitching that goes across the foot up to the top of the tongue. While we're on the tongue, you can see that they both have that pointed shape since they're both in one piece with the upper. The lacing system is also very similar as they share rope laces with a small eyelet count. Overall though, the Adidas Tubular Radial is more affordable at a fair $110 compared to the $200 you're gonna pay for retail Yeezys, considering you get a chance to though. Because let's just face the facts, resale is stupid high right now. Also, the radials are available in stock at a lot of stores, so finding them won't be that hard either. In the end, if you're not satisfied with the tubular radial, I do have one more shoe that I consider as an equal to the 350 looks wise, and it's not an Adidas sneaker. I'm just fucking with you guys. So all of Roshi Run jokes aside, another Nike sneaker that I think looks just as good on foot is the Nike Flyknit Racer. The racers are also made of a knit upper, and they share the same runner slash athleisure aesthetic as the 350. So the racers have plenty of different colorways, but the Oreo colorway shares a great resemblance to the Turtle Dove colorway of the Yeezys. So if you're in the market for that color palette, I would definitely take a look at the Oreos. The two shoes are also very light and breathable, so the racers would be a good alternative to the 350s on foot. The 
planets are pretty steep at 150 but they are almost always in stock and many different color variants you can choose from are always available. They also go on sale sometimes, so watch out for markdowns on any websites that you can find them on. Overall, I think it's a good shoe build wise and aesthetic wise. I would definitely recommend looking into a pair if you're in the market for some 350 boosts. Now I know you're probably thinking about why I didn't mention the Ultra Boosts or NMDs, and the reason is because they're not the cheapest shoes for retail, and the hype is very real right now for Boost, so finding them in stock would be a challenge. I know they restock every now and then, but I'd like to give options for shoes that are available at the moment. But if you're able to find a pair of Ultra Boosts or NMDs for a good price, I do suggest copying a pair, as they do share the same tech as the 350s. Alright guys, so to wrap it up, I do recommend trying to find an alternative to the 350s if you are unable to get them for retail. The next closest silhouette from Adidas, in my opinion, is the Adidas Tubular Radial. The retail price is at 110 and I do really think that these pull inspiration from the 350s. I highly recommend checking them out. Another alternative that I would recommend is the Nike Roshi, the Nike Flyknit Racer. The racers are the next best bet because they're a very good looking shoe and they do share the same function as a pair of Yeezys. Retail price is pretty steep at 150 but look out for markdowns and secondhand sources. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you found it entertaining and somewhat informative and I also hope that you found it helpful in shaking that Yeezy release salt. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more and I will be getting around to releasing more content because there are many broke boys out there that want to dress without breaking the bank. So again, thanks for watching and have a good one.